Electric Circuits and the Hydraulic Analogy Force, Energy, and Power Energy in the form of work is force times distance. Here we have a one kilogram mass resting on a table uh, in a uniform gravitational field. If I push up against the field, I do work against this mass. And if I allow the mass to press down against my hand, it does work against my hand. Energy equals force times distance. The mass exerts a downward force of 9.8 newtons. If the distance is one meter, then the energy in moving the mass is 9.8 newtons times one meter, which is 9.8 joules. Now let's look at a similar situation in a hydraulic piston. We have a uniform downward force on this piston due to the pressure of the water. If I push the piston up, I'm doing work against the water. If I allow the piston to press against my hand, it's doing work against my hand. Again, the energy is force times distance. What is the force? It's the pressure of the water multiplied by the area of the top of this piston. Now I can rearrange these parentheses like this, pressure times area times distance. And what is the area times distance? It is the volume of water displaced, as you can see. The area times this distance is the volume. So energy equals pressure times volume. Standard units are pascals and cubic meters, but pascals are a very tiny unit of pressure and a cubic meter is a very large unit of volume. So we can make the first unit a thousand times bigger and the second unit a thousand times smaller, we get kilopascals and liters. If we have a displacement of two liters and the pressure is 300 kilopascals, we have this much pressure, this much volume, and that's 600 joules of energy. Now let's look at an electric example. We have a 100 volt battery and two parallel metal plates. We have a negative, uh, negative voltage here and a positive voltage here. Here's a cross section view of the same thing. 100 volt battery, positive on the bottom, negative on the top. If there's a free electron between these two plates, it will feel a downward force because it's attracted to the, to the positive charge here and repelled by the negative charge here. Now suppose we have a piece of amber and we rub it with a fur. It will acquire a negative charge, just like the electron, and it will be attracted to this positively charged plate and it will be repelled by this negatively charged plate. If I move this piece of amber against the electric field, I'm doing work on it. And If I allow it to press down on my hand, it's doing work on my hand. How much is that work? Now, ignoring gravity and just considering the electric field, the energy is the voltage times the charge. If this is 100 volts difference, and this is one coulomb of charge, then the energy is 100 volts times one coulomb equals 100 joules. So to summarize, once again, energy equals pressure times volume for a hydraulic system or energy equals voltage times charge for an electronic system. In a hydraulic circuit, we have water in constant motion, starting with a reservoir of water at zero pressure. This pump pressurizes the water to 300 kilopascals. There's not much pressure drop in this wide pipe. Through this narrow section, there's a drop in pressure from 300 to 0 kilopascals. Let's say the flow is 0.1 liter per second. The pump is raising the energy level. It's doing work at a certain rate to raise the water to a higher pressure. And on this side, we have we recover the energy as heat as the water drops in pressure from 300 to 0 kilopascals. So we have energy coming in here, energy coming out here is heat, and how much is that power? 
power equals energy per unit of time. That's pressure times volume per unit of time. That's the pressure times the flow rate. We have 300 kilopascals pressure, 0.1 liter per second flow rate. That equals 30 watts. So we have 30 watts of power coming into this pump to make it work and 30 watts of heat energy coming out of this resistor. The electric circuit is very similar. Charge in constant motion. We start with charge at zero volts. The battery draws up the charge and pressurizes it, so to speak, to 1.5 volts. Uh, it flows through this wire with negligible voltage drop, and then the voltage drops from 1.5 to zero as it goes through this resistor. And let's say the current is one amp or one coulomb per second. The battery is doing work on the charge that is raising it up from zero to 1.5 volts. And we recover that energy by allowing the voltage to drop from 1.5 volts to zero volts. So we have energy coming in here to raise the voltage and energy coming out as heat when the voltage drops to zero. We can do useful work by connecting a, a motor or a light bulb. How much power is that? In the hydraulic example, it was power equals pressure times flow rate. For the electric circuit, we have power equals voltage times current. 1.5 volts times one amp equals 1.5 watts. So to summarize, again, the volume is like charge, flow rate is like current, pressure is like voltage, energy is in joules, that is pressure times volume, kilopascal liters, or voltage times charge, volt coulombs. Power is pressure times flow rate, kilopascals times liters per second, or in an electric circuit, voltage times current, volts times amps.